Yes, them my part the pum pum. Jamaican girls, them my part the Yummy. Yes. Hey girl, and welcome back to the channel, Skinny Bad Bitches. Now tonight I am so, so excited because we are preparing a complete meal, low in calorie and delicious, and it's for those pescetarians out there. Now for those of you who do not know what a pescetarian is, it's a person who does not consume red meat. Basically they just eat seafood, which of course entails like fish, mussels, and things of that sort. So if you guys are excited and watching me prepare this low calorie meal for you skinny bad bitches out there, you know what to do, stay tuned. Hey girl, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some tilapia fish, some eggplant, some sweet potato, some red onions, and I have a pack of organic kale greens, and I have one green pepper. So, if you have all those items, let's get started. Hey ladies, as you can see, I've already cleaned the fish. Okay, now I am going to season it. You guys know I am addicted to this Goya seasoning, this all-purpose seasoning. It is all that. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this. And it's really great because it has all kinds of spices in it and herbs, salt, pepper, parsley. It's, it's like one-stop shopping. So instead of having a bunch of like um, different seasonings, you get it combined all in one. Here it is right there. And it's really good. It, do it doesn't have a lot of sodium in it either. It only has 75 milligrams of sodium, which is great for us SBDs. Okay, next, I am, um, you guys know I like spicy, so, I mean, even though pepper's not spicy, but it gives it that oomph. So I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper on our tilapia. I'm like making a mess here, but it's all good. Okay. And like I said, you guys know I love spicy, so I'm adding some cayenne pepper. Yes, and this is optional because everyone doesn't like spices. Well, I should say everyone doesn't like spicy food, but I'm just adding a little bit just for flavor. I'm not even making it really spicy, but just to give it that little kick. Can you guys see it? So this is the season so far. And for my fish, because I am an olive oil junkie, I still put a little bit of olive oil on my fish. And I just mix it in there. It just gives it more flavor. And it makes it more tender. And, uh, and moist. Because I hate some dry ass fish. I'm not going to lie. I like my fish to be nice and moist. Fall off of my fork. And I'm sure you all too. I'm guessing, I don't know. Some people maybe like their fish like kind of hard, but not me. Okay, so that's it right there. So this is our filet of tilapia. It's all seasoned up. And that will go in the oven. So let's just grab all. And you guys know that I always spray all my pans with this coconut cooking spray so it doesn't stick to the pan. Spray that. Get that nice and saturated. Perfect. Nice and seasoned. Okay, and it's ready to go. So we're going to put our oven on 350. Okay, we are setting the oven to 350, between 350 and 400. Actually, I'm gonna set it to 375. Put our food inside the oven. Okay, and we'll time that for about 20 minutes. I will set the timer on my phone. Set that. Okay, so next we are going to prepare our sweet potato. Remember I told you when you're on a weight management program, well, if you read the book, 
that you really have to watch your carb intake. So instead of having rice or pasta, today we're having sweet potato. This is going to be our carb. So we're just going to cut this up, cut it in half first. Some people actually peel their sweet potatoes, but we are not peeling ours because there's a lot of nutrients in the skin. So we're going to use this also. I'm just going to get a sharper knife. So we're cutting up our sweet potato. Depending on how many people you're preparing this meal for, you don't need a lot. So you guys, you see this? This is just one sweet potato. And this is approximately a medium size of a pan. Okay. So I have our sweet potatoes all washed and cut up and I added some water to it. And this is how much water, like this is the saucepan. I added about this much water. I added about this much water. So it's about a quarter full in the pan of water. And now I am going to add a little bit of sea salt. You guys, it's better to eat sea salt than regular salt. It's just better for you. Just a little bit, just, just for flavor. You guys can see that I only put a little on low fire. We're going to let that cook for about 10 minutes um, just so the sweet potato can get a little salt. Okay. Okay, next we're going to cut up our eggplant. I have two long pieces. <laughs> Red onion, green pepper, and kale. And we're going to saute organic kale at that. We're going to saute that all together. Okay, so let's cut this up. Let's get started. Let's see if this knife is. This knife is sharper. Okay, so this. Is. Cutting is very simple. Just make sure your knives are sharp. Mine aren't that sharp. I need to sharpen them. <laughs> organic kale. I just got finished washing it in cold water. And this is it right here. So I'm going to take it now and toss it into our pan with all the other vegetables. <laughs> Look at this. It's like overflowing. Mix it up a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I am going to add some more olive oil. to add some you guys know I'm addicted to this stuff addicted you guys you have to get it it's the best seed. to have it on a medium flame like this and yeah so we're just gonna stir this up let me grab a fork as opposed to using a knife that would be a lot better right okay so we just going to Keep stirring this. We're definitely not going to let this cook long because we want to consume and preserve as much nutrients as possible from our vegetable. So we're basically just like steaming it, but in a frying pan with olive oil. I will put a little bit of more olive oil. You know, you can never use too much olive oil. Olive oil is very, very good for you. Okay, guys, I just took the fish out of the oven, literally, and this is what it looks like yummy let's sample to see what the texture is like okay so far so good 
nice texture where the fork can easily go through it. It's not too hard, but it's not too soft. Okay guys, so we're going to take a look at our veggies and see how they're coming along. Wow, perfect. We sauteed down nicely. The eggplants were still full. The onions. You want to cook your sweet potato where it's too soft. Just want to cook it enough where your fork can go through it, which is perfect, like this. Okay, so now, instead of using butter, for those of you who are butter lovers, feel free. You know, you have free will, so you can do what you want. You can use your butter, but I'm seasoning mine with some ground cinnamon. Sprinkle just a little bit for flavor. And you can't go wrong with cinnamon. There's no such thing as using too much cinnamon. Cinnamon is really good for you. I actually wish I had some um, vanilla flavor to put in it, but I don't have it. Okay, ladies, my battery is about to go dead, but I am about to chow down. So thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, next week we will have another video for you on how to keep that body tight and right. And yet, yeah, and if you don't know about the book, skinnybadbitches.com, go to the website. It's on Amazon.com. Check it out. It's a movement, okay? We're all sisters, and we want to be the best version of ourselves. So check it out, skinnybadbitches.com.